All right, guys, I posted my video, my last video on Facebook, and a lot of people asked me what kind of lighting I was running. Um, and I guess I'm going to make a video for it because I feel like it's a lot better to talk about it rather than type up, type up about it. So I'm running a current 48-inch LED Plus satellite thing LED strip. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing special. It's what most people run on African cyclic tanks. Um, and this is what it looks like. And um, a lot of other people run that. Um, I know Josh Spalding runs it too, and I know Jay Wilson runs a few of them on his tank. And our tanks have totally different looks. So that's what I want to talk about today, is how to adjust the look of your tank. Um, this is specifically going to be talking about making your tank look like this. Not like Josh Spalding's not like Jay Wilson's, um, but it will give you some ideas as why their tanks look like they do, and it'll give you just pointers on how to get to where you want to be, what you want your tank to look like. So what I wanted my tank to look like when I was first in the design phase of this tank is I wanted it to make the fish pop. I only wanted focus on the fish. I wanted everything else to be secondary. Um, I still want it to be really nice looking, but focus was on the fish. So how would I do that? Well, let's just go over lighting real quick and not the lighting you would think of. The lighting, of course, the source is coming from the top right here, but physics, okay? Really basic physics. Um, light's reflected like crazy, um, and that'll light up your tank too. So if you have white rocks in here or brown rocks, it's going to reflect a lot of light. White rocks reflect all light, or theoretically pure white reflects all light. It doesn't do that. In the real world, black absorbs most, if not all, light. This obviously is not absorbing all light, or else you wouldn't see it. It would look like a black hole. But, yeah. So, how I did this was I decided to go with a black background. There, that way I wouldn't reflect any light off of the background, making the tank seem extremely bright. So all light is being absorbed with the background. I decided to go for subtle rocks for my subtle rock scape. I decided to go for slate. I don't know where to get this in your local area. I just know it's large slate pieces and I got it from a landscaping company. And the reason I went with these is because they're black, but they have really cool patterns on them that sort of makes them pop out secondary to the fish. So it's sort of like art, you know? Like, you gotta put it together so everything looks just right. You gotta play with it a little bit. That's what I did. Um, so, these rocks are also absorbing all light, or most of it. So they're not glowing, they're not popping out, they're not getting your attention. I decided to go with white sand because it's, very it's at the very bottom, and uh, it may be reflecting most, if not all, light, but it reflects it back up onto the fish. That's how it works. And, um, it's got a really nice contrast with the black rock, so I think that looks nice. And uh, when I'm shooting photos, it allows some reflection of light back up under the fish, which makes it look very nice. And you don't really see it, because I don't take photos near the sand bed. So yeah, that is how I set up my tank. And the reason it works like that is just because the only thing reflecting a ton of light in my tank is the sand bed, which you don't see very often. And of course, the fish. You want the fish standing out as much as possible if you want a tank like this. And that's exactly how I did it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the basics of it. I really don't want to go any deeper in it because that wouldn't benefit you guys at all. Um, but I do want to discuss one more thing, and that is lighting on fish behavior. Um, I'm a proponent to, no, to low lighting. Um, I think too many people oversaturate their tanks with a ton of light and it may stress out the fish. Um, you may notice that my tank has a light beam going down here, so I have a dark spot right up here. Um, I have some subdominant fish in my tank that sometimes get picked on and uh, they really like hiding up here. This Moloto is a very shy species and he would not have the color that he has in my all-mill tank if there was not that light or that absence of light in that corner there. He hangs out up there a little bit. The, the Jake back there, that Kate McClear, or whatever he happens to be, he hangs out in the back 
with no light. And I think what that does is when they're stressed, they go back there, they sit and they calm down, and they're less likely to develop a disease, you know, parasites or anything like that. So I think that's very important to have, and I think that I got lucky with the 48 inch fixture, and um, it's really helped me out. In the overall lighting as well, having a dark rockscape allows you to have low lighting that still makes the fish pop without having extremely intense light. Um, so this also lowers the stress of the fish. A lot of people are obsessed with having, you know, natural looking biotopes, natural full spectrum lighting for these cichlids, and then they just freaking have 4,000 lumens going in there blinding the fish. Um, go to Mark Bolton's channel, African Cichlid Hub, and watch him dive. You, you can't tell me that there's a lot of light that penetrates, you know, 20 meters below the surface of that water. Um, it's very dark, it's very dim, it's very cloudy. So when you have a clear, crystal clear tank like this, uh, a lot of light's going to penetrate through, and if you oversaturate it, it's not going to be like a natural biotope, and uh, they may get stressed out. So I think dim lighting is the way to go. Keeps the stress low. I don't see much chasing. Uh, you can watch my 15-minute video of my fish. Uh, there's really nothing abnormal going on there, and I think I credit that to the lighting, because I had a lot more aggression in my 75 with about 15 species in there, and I had a 48, two 48 inch strips that were just lighting up the tank like crazy. It's my first African cichlid video, you guys can see it um, if you look back at my channel towards January. Um, but yeah, uh, that should be it. Um, another very important thing is that you pull the light towards the front of the tank as far as possible. And what that does is the light shines down on the fish, doesn't shine back on the background because you still can wash out or gray out the black background and black rocks with too much light. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So TLDR, um, or a summary of it, black rocks, black background, light pulled to front, dim light, if you have a six foot tank, you can have these corners right here. I find it helps with aggression and recovery from stress. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, little update, I got three really cool species coming on Thursday. Really excited for that and looking for them for a few months. Um, not telling what they are because they're that cool and your, guy, your guys' jaws will drop when you see them and so will mine. Um, I'm getting kind of giddy over it. So it's not from SEC. Still got a hundred bucks to SEC from Jay, but I came across this and I couldn't resist. I just rhymed. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, any questions on lighting, aquarium setups, anything like that, just feel free to comment below. I'll try to get back to you. Sometimes I don't because I'm getting really busy here, but I'll try my best. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, keep an eye out for those new fish coming in. Thanks.